All right, what are we doing today? Wait, what are you picking here? Basil. Is that basil? Yeah. What is this white stuff here? What, what? Is that bad? Should I get rid of that? that leaf? Wait, what? There, that stuff there. Oh, that um, means a leaf hopper has been drinking the sweet, sweet liquids out of the plant. It's not bad, it's fine. Oh, okay. It's not, I mean, it's not good for the plant, but it's not going to hurt you. And now I'm picking some oregano. Oregano. Oregano, as some others say. <laughs> That's how you're supposed to say it. No, oregano. 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 I think that's enough. Yeah? Yeah. All right. Well, you got like a handful of them? Yep. Cool. I'm gonna chop it up and cook it with some butter. How do you decide which ones you're going to pick? Um, when the outer leaves start opening up a bit. Excuse my dirty nails. And you, are you checking for bugs in there? No. Why not? Because I'll do that inside. Yeah. So this one's pretty big. That's like a handful right there. Oh, yeah. Which is nice. This one, so that's still small, even though the leaves are coming away, it's a bit small. You can still eat the small ones. They're right. just small. Yeah. Okay. I'll grab it. Teamwork. All right. Watch this. One-handed technique. What are you doing, Jess? What are we putting it at? 240. All right, so first we're going to peel off some of the hard outer leaves. Next, we cut off the rest of the stem. <laughs> then, um, I don't know, some of these are like rounder shaped, whereas that one's more pointy. I don't really know why, but apparently mm -hmm. you meant to cut off about... A centimeter off the top. Yeah. Which is a lot easier to do on these ones. Right. They got like they stick out. And next, you want to cut them in half. Like that. Do we need to sharpen that knife? Uh, no. I like working with a blunt knife. It makes me feel a little bit dangerous. Okay, next step is you want to get out all this fluff. Yeah, you can just zoom in over that. Um, be mindful that in this part there can be some little spiky bits, so just if you stick your fingers in there, just be careful. Yeah, that looks like the uh, dandelions. Uh, no, uh, have you seen the the forbidden corn dog video? <laughs> have you seen that? Yeah, the the cat's tails or whatever they call them. Yeah, yeah, forbidden corn dog. And he bites into it and then they just like Bleh. sometimes then... i'll if i'm trying to get the last bit so i like hold it with my thumb because then the spiky bits don't get me that's a technique i learned by myself and now you just do it again four times yes oh, mm -hmm. it's bleeding crazy oh i wonder if that means anything i don't know I hope mm. not. and some recipes do suggest that you put lemon juice on it immediately after you cut it in half because as you can see it's starting to brown but I feel like the brownie is mostly aesthetic, and I'm about to blast these in the oven, so I don't really care. Ah, cut that. Uh oh. <laughs> Please excuse my dirty nails. I was digging in dirt earlier. We don't want them to know I was fossicking. <laughs> we were looking for gold. 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 I'm just giving them a rinse to get any last little fluffy bits out, and also it's probably just a good idea because they have been living outside their whole life. They know how baking paper comes out of the thing. They just need to see that it's on. What if whoever's watching this has never seen baking paper oh, before then, in their life? Then I don't know why they're watching a cooking video. Well, because they have never used, they've never done cooking before. Uh, kind of makes sense. Uh, I don't know. The kind of person who would watch cooking videos is, uh, you know. Inept. You're saying I'm not inept? Not inept. Beginner. Novice. Okay. Trainee. Especially if they're watching our videos. Oh yeah. Definitely. Um, but yeah, line your tray with baking paper. Next, you get some foil. Put your hard choke in the foil and make kind of like a little basket. Yeah. So it's just stuff like that. I'm just, I'm just a, I'm just a. Beautiful. Cool. Well, this is usually, as a big fan of garlic, I would stick a clove, a whole clove in each of these gaps over here. However, at the farm, we only have one clove. So what I'm gonna do is cut a single clove into four, Pieces. Cue the sad music. Now I'm going to stick one in each 
Oh. And you don't have to do anything else to the garlic? You just cut it off and stick it in there? Yep. And what's this you got? I got some olive oil. So you want to generously pour olive oil over your chokes. Very nice. Very, very good. And then just the last step before we put them in the oven, I'm going to salt these bad boys. oven they go. It doesn't seem very hot in there. Uh, oh right. It's because we've got to put the timer setting on. That's okay it'll just take a bit longer. Yes and we put them in the oven for 40 minutes. So for our dipping sauce we're gonna do a herb garlic butter. So I'm just gonna start by chopping our herbs and today we're using basil and oregano from the garden. Yeah, is that proper cutting technique right there? Uh, no it is not. It's busted. You're going to jail. Very nice, very nice. And there's no bugs in there? I gave them a good wash and check. I too am paranoid of bugs in my food, so don't worry, I did check. They look a little burnt. Yeah, I still, that's why I turned the temperature down this time. I'm not sure how to stop it from burning. I'll get there one day. People at home, if you figure out, do let me know. Lower temp or less time? No, oh, they look delicious. Very delicious. Okay, so, so what are we doing now? I'm going to harvest the garlic. Oh, because all the garlic juices are in there, so you don't need it anymore. I'm going to mash it up and put in my garlic butter. How do you think we get garlic butter? How are you going to mash it up? Where's do you want my it? special choppy choppy? No, I'll just use a spoon. Okay. Anyway, it's just about getting all those flavors together, you know? Yep. How much is that? A fair amount. A good amount. Why does that butter look so weird? I'm just going to blast this for 30 seconds. Mix it all up. Yep. Hey, there's a big chunk of garlic in there. Dibs. Sure. So, is this, are, you, are we using this for dip or we're yeah. gonna put it, like, glaze it on top? Dip. Wouldn't it be better? Uh, hold on. Hey, who's the chef here? Uh, okay. Okay. Time for plating. Now, okay. we're going to crack some pepper. I gotta be careful because they're quite hot. What's all this grease at the bottom? Is that good or do we, do we want that or? Well, one, it's not grease, baby. Olive oil. Well, it's up to you whether you want to drizzle the olive oil on top. I don't think it really needs it because um, we got dipping butter. How do you eat it? So the part you eat is when you pull off a leaf, there's this nice, delicious, fleshy part and you just kind of eat it off with your teeth, as you eat most things with your teeth. <laughs> um, and you can also eat this part here. Bon apple tea. Yeah, so you dip that in there and then you just sort of take a little, you like, scrape it off. Is it good? Tastes pretty good. Nice. So you don't eat the whole thing. No. You just eat that little bit. I told you this is like desperation food. But when you cook it like this, it's pretty good. <laughs> cool, let's eat it now. Okay. Mm -hmm. 